Well, hello, everybody in the Instacart shopping and customering world. My name is Sarah, and this is Pearls of Wisdom, Instacart Pearls of Wisdom. And here we go with another video. It's Monday morning. Here we go. Did you have your cuppa? I'm about halfway through my little um, French press worth of cuppa. <clears throat> and it's Wicked Joe's Italian. Yeah, the turquoise bag. Anyway, here we are today. And don't tell them at Instacart support. But having a cancellation rate is like a get out of jail card, isn't it? Wow. My rate right now is 3%. And you know that when we get close to 15, it gets into that danger zone of like where we could be deactivated. I use mine very, very sparingly. And I always suggest that you call Instacart support about canceling an order that is just not working out for you. Hey, it's Freddie. See Freddie? Kitty cat. Um, there he is. Um, you always call Instacart about canceling it because then it doesn't add on to that percentage rate. And I've done that a couple of times and it's worked out just fine. And then another time that I talked about, I took a quick, a quick batch at the end of my day, figuring in, out, close store, close to my home, no big deal, nice tip. I can bang this one out. And wasn't it the day of out of inventory everywhere? Even burger, 80-20 burger. Oh, well. So when I did contact Instacart about that, which I've done before on little orders where they're like half out and the customer's not responding, the customer, he, he tried to call the customer too and the customer didn't pick up the phone but he said, just go ahead and refund everything. And so I did, and I apologized all the way there. You know, how many ways can you apologize? Okay, Sarah, we got it. Okay, you're sorry, out of stock. But I did feel bad. It's like, you know, you order these last minute things. It was a Sunday. Maybe they wanted to go into the week. And they didn't have to worry about dashing in someplace and getting something. And the store, and the store was out of stock. Oh, well. But use that cancellation um, button at the bottom. Now, at one point, I was wondering, sometimes it's green and sometimes it's red, and I wasn't sure if when it's green, you can cancel without having it affect your cancellation rate or not. I don't think it worked out that way. But anyway, I think I still got the cancellation and it was green. But see if it works for you. But definitely use it sparingly and use it for the, excuse me, for the really good ones, especially if it's a name that comes up and it's like, oh yes, you've dealt with that customer before. It didn't play out well before. They're either extra, extra difficult or they don't respond and it's just not going well. They're pick Sometimes it seems like with the app, with the items that the customer is looking for, it's like they don't even have these things at Whole Foods, much less in this ratty old store with the old carts, with the electrical charge, with the, you know, three organic items that you can choose from. And one of them is potatoes and the other one is Olivia's. Um, so, you know, it's always surprising. It's like, where, where did you come up with this? That fraudster, the one that I've had twice and hopefully no more. Um, her with the um, marshmallows, the gluten-free, sugar-free, organic Danny Danny's or something like that. Annie's Danny's. I've seen them in the stores, but she wanted those and they just weren't in the store. And there are just some stores that don't have different or fancier or upgraded um, products and they must appear on the app. And I wonder sometimes when, at least in the area I live in, because it's a resort second home um, <clears throat> rental area, summer rental area that even happens in the 
off season. It's called the shoulder season, which would be right about now and last till October. It's not the high season. It's the shoulder season. You know, people are renting houses and they, they don't want to go shopping while they're here on vacation in their, you know, $4,000 a week <laughs> rental. They want to do stuff or be at the beach or sit on their deck with cocktails. They certainly don't want to be at Star Market with, you know, all the other people with, you know, shopping issues and, and fighting the crowds and all of that. No way. And maybe they use Instacart when they're at home, too, and they just haven't been near a store for over 14 months and they're not about to on Cape Cod on their vacation. So maybe their app is like a different location that has more produce or different cuts of meat or just, you know, different products. I know that there's one stop and shop that definitely caters to the Brazilian community that we have here or the Spanish community. Um, and then there's, um, you know, other ones that are like high end. They don't have 16 selections of different types of beans for customers. And so you, you can feel the flavor of the stores that you go into and who they cater to. And that's what you see on the shelves. And it's like when they choose something that you just know is not going to be at that store. Um, you know, I'm always grateful when there's a frozen part for Goya and other ethnic um, items, as well as a couple of a Goya whole, a whole Goya section, as well as another section that's totally, you know, the foods in Portuguese or Spanish and um, for for that community base. And so, but sometimes people order things and it's like, I, I've never seen this in any of the stop and shops. So it's pretty likely that it's going to be out of stock, right? So sometimes if you get one of those difficult orders, um, you know, just beware that you can, you can cancel. I, I always suggest you know, accepting the order, going through what the order entails, all the items before you hit that cancel button. But I wouldn't, I don't think I'd get into the shop, shopping shop of it all, and then cancel unless you were talking to Instacart support, like my St. Patrick's Day organic lady with her special cut of corned beef that didn't exist along with any corned beef, unless you wanted it boar's head for a sandwich, but I don't think she was into the sandwich hunt that day. She wanted corned beef and cabbage for St. Patrick's Day. And I don't blame her. The only thing I blame her for is that she did it on the day of the holiday. You get what you get, right? You do that four or five days before. Trust me, a cabbage is going to keep for four or five days, as will the carrots and potatoes and the vac-packed corned beef. But I digress because that's what I do. So when you have a cancellation rate, you want to keep it low and you want to pay attention to it. It's supposed to fall off after batches are done, just like the damage, the wrong items, and things like that. <clears throat> Mine never did. And I had three tickets going with Instacart. Um, and that Instacart is when you call and uh, support for a ticket is when you call them or text them. And they can't give you answers. You ask for a ticket. They give you a ticket. They give you a ticket number. And, um, you know, my cancellation rate hasn't gone down. I've been Instacarting for over a year and it hasn't gone down yet. And I've done hundreds of batches. So can you look into this? And it took three tickets on that just simple request to look at it and make a difference. So I don't want to go much higher, but it's there. And it's like, it's so like, does Instacart realize that like it's giving us the shoppers a break? Well, hey, what's up with that? And it's like, you really actually give us an out on something that might not work out? Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> I digress again. So use it sparingly and um, good luck with it. I always contact Instacart support about things like this. Don't be afraid of them. Sometimes you can work just very nicely with them. Um, I know that later in the day, it seems like they have more people that might live in the United States that can help you just saying, 
Um, so if you are shopping, don't be afraid of in the middle of the shop contacting Instacart support. It seems like it's a different level of understanding the shopper's needs because it worked for me yesterday in the middle of a shop. So just say and try it out and see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Sarah about the cancellation rate. It works to our benefit, but don't abuse it. I'll see you here the next time. This has been Sarah, Instacart Pearls of Wisdom. Bye-bye for now.